The 4-H club is coming at uh, 2 o'clock and Ken Norman the farrier is going to come and they're going to watch him and talk about it. So the first thing is to get the donkeys into the barn. Frida doesn't like it when we do uh, go into the barn without her so she's complaining. We put a little hay down in the bucket and a little grain. The thing about donkeys is that they read intentions. They're at least as smart as dogs and probably smarter. If you have something on your mind, they usually know it and get very alert. Ken Norman is one of the reasons I love living in the country. You don't get to meet too many farriers elsewhere. Well, my wife and I had horses, and my farrier was 40 or 50 miles away, and in order to keep him, I had to learn how to nail shoes on. So what are you bringing me? A thank, thank you, Graham. You. Oh, thank you. And this is thank you, Graham, and all the kids are saying that. Well, thank you, everybody. Donkeys, donkeys. Let me go in there, because donkeys are really expecting to see. Yeah, donkeys. Uh. Come on in here. Is that on? It's on. Oh, look at tail. It's on the outside of the bottom and the inside of the top. So they, sometimes they get really bad and they'll chew up them. You look inside their mouth, their cheeks are all be chewed up and the teeth will be grinding into their face. Horses that do go barefoot, but um, there are some that need to have shoes. There's a lot of horses that, you know, they're born barefoot, they go find barefoot, but there's always a good analogy of somebody going to the old wood asking how to trim a wooden, make a wooden Indian, and he said, come back tomorrow and bring all these tools, and he came back that day. We've had her on both of the mammals. Uh, I don't think you had her on Lulu. Um, what do you think? Screwed on there straight. A lot of donkeys, when they're not done, get really twisted. They'll end up like crawl under, and the inside will flare. And then as they get twisted, they get more twisted. And those are the ones that are really hard to fix again. Oh, I'm in jail. Yes. What did you guys learn? What did you learn? You don't know? You learn that you got to have your horse's feet trimmed every six or eight weeks. Sometimes it tear itself all to pieces and run, and then get scared and run faster and hit the next fence. Yeah, they can we do it, huh? Can we go out now?